Hello everybody, welcome back to Cash Kicks TV. We are back with a new video, man. We are about to wrap up 2020. 2020 has been a long year, man, a long year, but I think a lot of us have learned very important things about ourselves. Man, a lot of us may have taken L's this year, man, but man, an L is not a loss, man. It's a lesson. So let's bring that lesson to 2021 and make it into a blessing. Bars. Oh! So, yeah, man, we, we just want to get started with a fresh new video. This is going to drop in 2021, but let's just drop. I just wanted to get it out right away because I love sneakers, and I wanted you guys to see what I'm excited about to come out in 2021, and also what I feel you guys should have on your calendar or on your watch list of shoes to make sure that you get for 2021. They're definitely going to be on mine, so let me just share that with you guys right now. And if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to 2,000 subscribers. Honestly, we know the subscribers have slowed down a bit, but I will take fault on that because I was not uploading as frequently as I was before. So what does that do? It slowed down the traffic on your channel. But no worries, man. What was I telling you about those L's, those lessons? We're going to turn them into blessings. So let's definitely do that for 2021. And let's just get started with today's video. All right, guys, so five sneakers that you need in 2021. If you guys have not checked my last video, I did do my top five sneakers that I was able to get in 2020. So if you weren't able to watch that video, make sure you do so right after this video. And let's just get straight into that top five. Now, we're going to start off with a classic OG, and that is the Jordan 6 Carmine. This is anticipated to come out February 13th. 2021 so we're looking at oh actually we're not usually it would be the all-star game release but we're not having an all-star game this year guys because of covid so i guess it's just going to be a regular weekend um very excited for this shoe to come out man very excited the last time it dropped I'm not too sure it was, i think it was in the, the four to five year range and i was not able to get them like I said back then, I wasn't able to get releases as frequently as I am now. I wish I could because it was a lot easier back then. Whereas now, it doesn't matter what the release is. It seems like it's impossible. So that is something that we are hoping becomes more in our favor in 2021. Apparently, they're going to be trying different methods to make shoes more accessible to everybody. So we'll see what they have planned. But this is definitely a big release that we have coming out because it's an OG. It's a release. It's a Jordan that... Michael Jordan wore in a game. Those are always going to be the grails, the best, and the most favorable by people, right? I think what does throw me off about this shoe, I don't know. Like it's, I, I'm just not the fan of the patches. In, like, I don't. I, to be honest, like this isn't my favorite six. I have my favorite six. That's the infrared sixes. But like, it's something you definitely need to have in your collection. For me, anyway, like. It's, it's not my favorite six. I used to love this and the Oreos. They're kind of like the same thing to me, like the same style. But like as I got older, like it kind of looked a little funky. Like it's reminding me of that TV show when yeah, I was a kid, Maggie and the Ferocious Beast, like the red patches, like. But at the end of the day, still a classic. I would still love to have my collection. Like I'm a weird guy. Just because I wouldn't necessarily like to have it on my feet doesn't mean I wouldn't want it in my collection, if that makes sense. That's one of those for me. Not necessarily my favorite to rock. Maybe I will here and there. But definitely something for the collection. So let's get into our second sneaker. The rest of these sneakers are more of sneakers that I would want to rock. And here is another one right here. The Air Jordan 1 University Blue. Guys, you do not want to miss this one. Right now, it's saying it's going to come out February 20th. So very close to the car mines. I'm expecting that to change when it comes to 2021 releases, like, we don't know what to expect. Some of these might not even end up coming out. You never know. But as of right now, it says February 20th. And this is a... This could be the Jordan 1 of the year. Let me refer... Let me let me say something first. This, re, this like, top 5 is releases that are a little bit more realistic. I'm not going to show you guys 
the Jordan 1 trophy room. Well, I'm going to show you guys now. But I'm not going to have that in my list because that's not a realistic grab. That's going to be very difficult to get. Very difficult. So I'm not going to add that in a shoe that you need because as much as you may need it or want it, 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 it most likely won't happen. So when I say Jordan 1 of the year, I'm talking about Jordan 1 that the population will have a good opportunity to get. Trophy 1's beautiful. Probably going to be the release of the year. But I'm not going to add that in my in the top 5 because who's really going to get those? Right? We, we, we can barely get regular releases. How are we going to get those? Right? But back to the Jordan 1 University Blue. Definitely to me has, it has what it takes to be the Jordan 1 of the year. I love everything about this shoe. I love the blue. I love the university blue. I love the black laces on it. I love how the wing, the Jordan wing logo is black. Like, they did a really good job. These This shoe's been on my watch list for a while. I actually thought it was going to drop last year. I don't know why. I thought they were going to drop it, like, late in, um, late in the year. But it's going to drop, as it says, in February. So let's hope that it sticks to that release. And this is definitely going to be a cop for me 100%. Let's go into number three, and here it is, the Air Jordan 3 Cool Gray. This one is supposed to be coming out February 27th. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now, expect these release dates to change. Like, for you to give us the Carmines, then the ones, then the Cool Grays, week one, two, and three, that's a busy month. They got to spread that around. But the Jordan 3 Cool Gray, another shoe that I've seen coming out this year that I was just like, damn, like, I have to get, the, I can just picture these on my foot. You know those shoes that you just know you can make look so good? That's how I feel about these Jordan 3s. So this is definitely going to be a cop. No, like, I'm, I'll pay resale. I'll do whatever it takes to make sure I get these in my hands because another thing is, these don't drop often. This isn't like your typical bread or your cement. This isn't a shoe that you always see, guys. So this is definitely something that you're going to want to add to your collection for 2021. Make sure you add that to your calendar. But like I said, don't be surprised if you see some of these release dates change. This is just what they're giving us for now to give us an idea. But definitely happy to see that it's going to come out at some point in 2021. Let's get into shoe number four. Here it is here. It's the Air Jordan 5 Raging Bull. Man, I remember seeing these. A childhood friend of mine had them. He actually had the pack. So the black one and the red one. And he was an ass. Like, he would only wear these on special occasions. And as soon as he pulled them out, I knew he was not playing no games. Ever since then, I wanted them for a very long time. These are supposed to be coming out April 10th. To be seeing these are coming out by itself, not in the pack, it's a great thing. Because, first of all, the pack, the other, the other pair is a very nice pair, but this has always been the key pair. If you got the pack, you would probably sell the black one and keep the red one. I'm pretty sure that's what he did as well. But to have these coming out, I think these have been a shoe that a lot of people forgot about just because how long. They have not even been really talked about. At one point, this was the Jordan of the lifetime. This was the best Jordan to everybody that was basically like you couldn't get. You didn't even really think about it because you just knew you couldn't get it. And for it to be coming back out, like I don't know if it's just a childhood thing. Because this is just a shoe for me when I was younger. Like we just looked up and praised but had no idea how we were going to get it. The return is in 2021. 2021 is really seeming like it's going to be a good year for sneakers, man. I have a good feeling that, like, this whole situation is going to get figured. Like, we're going to figure the situation out of how to get a better idea of how to, like, get sneakers. Right now, we're really struggling, man. Like, it, things that we're trying to do, Foot Locker, it's not working. We got to we gotta do something different. And I know we're going to head into a different direction. I just have a good feeling about 2020 of the year 2021 man like but yeah man the raging bull for it to be coming out trust me guys you do not want to miss this if you were born in the same like year or near around where i was born around my age 
you already know the importance of this shoe and you will know a lot about this shoe and it will definitely already be in your calendar if you're probably younger which is probably the people watching this video like you will probably look at this shoe and be like i don't see what's so special we've seen this shoe come out already probably like you guys probably think the other i forget the other jordan 5 that came out that was supposed to be like this but it was a lot the red was a little bit different it's nothing compared to this nothing at all like not even a comparison so don't even compare it because it's not even close matter of fact i'm going to show you guys just so you can see the difference in them but yeah definitely definitely like it's got to be a cop for 2021 there's a lot of shoes that need to be copped in 2021 but this right here this makes the top five and let's go to the last one i'm going to speak about this it might be the jordan of the year for me i don't know about you all i could do is speak for me and it is the jordan 11 still not there Jordan 11, guys, here it is. Cool, gray. I'm guessing, let's see. This is supposed to be the holiday release. You know, we always get an 11. This year, we got that 25th anniversary bullshit. But next year, we're expecting to get the Air Jordan 11, cool, gray. For a minute, we thought we were going to get it this year in 2020. They said, nope, we're not getting it. Tatum went and showed his, and everyone got excited. But nope, it's supposed to be coming in 2021. If you guys know me, the Jordan 11 Cool Grays was one of my first Jordans I ever got. And I have them here right now to prove it. Look at that. You see why I need a new one? Look at that. That's not supposed to be here. Man, the struggles and sh the shit that this shoe has been through. He is the warrior in the collection right here. He makes this collection stand as tall as it does. This is the warrior of the collection of how much shit this shoe has been through man you guys have no idea how much shit this shoe's been through man look at that shit you have no idea how much shit this shoe's been through none and he's always gonna still be in the collection but we need a new pair to rock man because these are done man these are done these are finished but they ain't going nowhere <laughs> 2021 holiday release this year. We're, we hope that it's going to stay the same. We need the cool. You see how excited everybody was when they thought it was going to drop? We can't do that again, man. We got to stick to 2021 being the year these shoes come back. When did I get these? I think it was 2013 or 2014. What grade was I? No. It was like 2011. Because I was like grade 11. Yeah, bro. It was like 2011 the last time these dropped, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, it was. So, nine years, ten years later, we're getting the... I'm not... I might... I don't double up. I never double... When it comes to shoes, I never double up. Right? I think I might double up this year on these. Just because of what this shoe's been through, I might need a backup. I might need a backup. <sighs> I can't wait, man. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, man. These are five sneakers you need to have on your calendar. You need to have on your phone reminder of these five shoes that are going to be coming out in 2021. Of course, I missed some. I may have missed some. I'm aware of the ones I may have missed, but maybe they should have made the top five in your opinion. These are just kind of my top five, what I need. Even though in the title it says what you need. So I feel like you need it because I need it. And if I need it, then you should need it. But let me know if you think I missed something or I should. Let me know if you think that I should have taken this shoe out. Or if I should have put this shoe in. What am I missing that's coming on 2021 that you know is coming out or supposed to be coming out. That I should have added in that list. That's the best way to put it. What did I miss? Let me know in the comments section below. And I wish you guys happy holidays enjoy the new year it's coming 2021 i wish you guys blessings for your new year i feel the love back i know you guys are staying the same towards me you know i know you guys love me but you know i it's gonna be a good year for sneakers i'm i'm i'm, I'm gonna tell you guys that now i'm not gonna promise you guys because you never know what could happen but i just feel it it's gonna be a good year for sneakers so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video 
I'm Cash Kicks TV, and we are out. Come on, guys. If you made it this far, make sure you hit that like button.